events today I wanted to have a bit of a chatty video about how I rate books so I am by no means a writing critic I rate books based on my enjoyment of them not not necessarily on how well or how not well I think something is written that does play into my enjoyment of it but it's not like it's not the end all be all of my rating basically so a one star basically means that I did not like it at all I saw no redeeming qualities for it but I don't usually rate anything a one star because I am a big advocate of DNFing books uh, there have been sometimes when some occurrences when I used the currently reading feature on Goodreads. I don't update that anymore just because I would have to switch it out so often. But I couldn't figure out how to get a book off of my currently reading without giving it a rating, like a star rating, so I would give it a one star. So there's probably like, I think there was like six or seven one stars under my Goodreads, but... Those basically just mean I dnf to them because I didn't like them. <laughs> so a two star rating basically means that I didn't like it, but I could see how other people would. Usually if there's a trope or a plot device that I don't personally care for, the book will get a two star rating if it's like a big, if it's like a big part of the story anyway. So if you ever see me rate a book two stars, I would really encourage you to maybe look up a little bit more about the book. Uh, some of the ones that I've rated two stars are Luna and the Lie by Mariana Zapata, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, Slayer by Kirsten White. I really wanted to love this one and I ended up with a two star. Uh, Waiting for Tom Hanks by Carrie Winfrey. This one just it like it wasn't for me but I just, I've seen a lot of people who really liked it so. And We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This one was definitely not for me, but it was so hyped up when back when I probably when I like first started watching booktube videos, it was so hyped up and it just like it just wasn't for me. So a three star means that I did like the book, but there were things I had issues with. Um, this is pretty much the bottom rating I will give a book that I did like. Uh, two and one stars are did not likes, and three, four, and five are that I did like it. Usually a three star, sometimes parts of the book drag or a character made decisions that I was kind of just like, no sweetie about. Some of those books are Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Madsen, Without Merit by Colleen Hoover, Half Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and The First Girl Child by Amy Harmon. A four star is a book that I really, really liked, but just something about it didn't click all the way for me. I don't really have a way to describe it. It's more uh, it's more of an internal feeling that I have is that it was a really really good book. It's just something wasn't quite top tier for me, you know. Uh, some of those books are Roar by Cora Carmack, The Selection by Kira Cass. I gave four stars when I read it the first time. On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves, Lingus by Mariana Zapata, and Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Five stars means that I absolutely, absolutely loved this book. Um, I'm not going to say that a five star means a book is perfect. It doesn't. But it was perfect for me. Usually if I read a book in a day, it's going to get a five star rating because that means I could not put it down. Some books that I gave five stars are The Hunter by Kerrigan Byrne, Behind the Bars by Brittany C. Cherry, A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert, All Broke Down by Cora Carmack, Tragic by Devney Perry, and The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. So that is a little bit of how I rate books. Um, again, I'm not a writing critic. I... It's my enjoyment of it is my rating, basically. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Hi, guys. It's been a couple of days since I edited this all together, and I have been pretty much really overthinking this since then, but I'm not going to bore you with all of my, like, processes that's been happening. Basically, I just want to know what helps you the most as a fellow reader. Is it the star rating? 
Is it the written review? Is it both? Do, do you care what I or other reviewers think? Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've been kind of thinking about the merit of a star rating versus a review. And I just, I don't know. I don't know where I fall into it. Because sometimes I read the reviews and then other times I just look at it to see what somebody rated it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think.